Hey guys, it's Jamie. I am back today and I am filming my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Wear Test and Review on their foundation. Um, I did film the actual application process of it and while I was doing it, I did it all. I finished, I turned off the camera and I was looking for my setting powder and I realized that I actually have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting powder. I completely forgot I had it because I honestly don't ever reach for it. So I did use this as well today. I did not show you guys in the actual try on application portion of the video, but I did use it once I turned my camera off. But yeah, I told you guys I was gonna do this. I had never wore the foundation 100% alone by itself. I always mixed it in with something else just because I didn't know whether or not it was gonna be really good for my oily skin, but I did buy it, so I did wanna test it out for you guys. So yes, um, this foundation again, it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have the color Golden Beige, which is considered the medium warm shade, as you can read there. You get one ounce or 30 milliliters of product in this foundation, which is pretty standard for a foundation. Um, this has 19 shades, and it retails on the actual website for $5.99 on Wet n Wild's website, but I know at Walmart I got it for less than $5. I'm pretty sure it was like $4.60 or something like that. So it's super affordable. Um, I know a lot of like um, bigger beauty gurus like Manny and Laura Lee rave about this foundation for a drugstore version, and Laura Lee actually just put up a video yesterday of makeup she used under six dollars and she uses foundation so yes um, this has 19 shades like I said and this brand is really cool with this foundation because they actually um, divide it out between cool undertones and neutral undertones and warm undertones which is something that the drugstore seriously lacks in foundation whenever I like really started getting into makeup and I was understanding the different undertones and stuff I have very warm undertones and all of the drugstore foundations seem to have very cool and neutral undertones so they would always look so much more pink than my actual body and it would irritate me so much so I'm glad that they're kind of like stepping up their game and they are putting in the different undertones for other people like us who have different ones 19 shades um, all different undertones they have a number like this one is 368 C they all have different numbers and then it has like the WN or um, C for warm cool and neutral in a square little bottle and the actual applicator I do really like actually is a spatula like applicator um, I know this isn't everyone's favorite type of applicator but for me I, I don't have problematic skin really I don't have any open areas or cuts or sores or anything like that so just dabbing this on my face really quick makes it super easy and super fast and normally I like mix my foundations on the back of my hands so not having that cleanup process I really do enjoy um, I would say though if you do have bad acne or you have any open places on your face or sores or cuts not to directly put this spatula on that area because you could contaminate this and spread the bacteria around your face and then you're going to get it on the spatula and you're going to put it back in and you're going to contaminate the whole foundation. So yeah, just the nurse part coming out of me. Don't do that. If you do have those issues, put it on the back of your hand and do it that way. Honestly, that's a hygienic way to do it. But don't do as I do. Just do as I say. Retails for, like I said, on the website, $5.99. Walmart is cheaper than that. And the powder, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. I have the shade 822 and Neutral Buff. Um, this comes in eight shades. Um, the liquid comes in 19. This comes in eight. And this is a satiny like finish. Like, I honestly, I bought it to set my under eyes. I think you guys can kind of see that. It's a very powdery. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. But it is very powdery. It does. I don't know. Um, I bought it to set my under eyes. But then I felt like. My brushes weren't picking up the product very well, so I really haven't used it. So today is really the first time since then I've dipped in and really, really used it. And I, I didn't mind it today. I used a more dense brush to apply it, so I knew the product was going on my face. But um, it has a satin finish. I could not honestly find anywhere it said what finish this was. But I can tell you guys... This claims to have no flashback whatsoever in any pictures. It, I guess, was tested under seven several seven different lighting 
environments and areas to have no flashback. So yeah, um, so far from what I can tell, I did not see any flashback. Um, yeah, this is rated four stars on the Wet n Wild website. This is rated just a little above four stars on the oh, Wet n Wild website. I think that the shade range is really nice, especially for drugstore. 19 shades for drugstore is really, really good. Cruelty free, as you can see on the front of this. Sorry guys, not trying to flip you off. And then this one, also cruelty free. That's really good for people who are into that. Um, so yeah, I will have next the actual putting on portion of this foundation. Uh, like I said, I did not film doing the powder because I didn't realize I had it until after. And they do have a concealer in this line. I do not have it. Sorry guys, I am like very tried and true with my Tarte Shape Tape. So I didn't even bother to buy the concealer to go with this. But yes, um, continue watching if you want to see the try-on portion or the application portion of this. Alright guys, so today we are testing out the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It looks like this. I have the color Golden Beige. It is a medium warm. Um, as you guys can see right here, it says medium warm. That is the really good thing about this um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. It does have cool, neutral, and warm tones, and it will tell you on the bottle whether it's a light neutral, a light cool, a light medium. And like I said, this is golden beige, medium warm. I don't know if it has an actual number. Um, 368C golden beige. So yes, um, we are going to test out how long wearing this foundation is, kind of like what I did with my L'Oreal Infallible foundation. So like I did in that video, um, I do have oily skin, so I don't want to put on any of my um, oil control primers just because I really do want to see how the foundation itself performs on oily skin. So I am just using the Maybelline Baby Skin. This is a pore filling primer. So I'm just going to put about this much on my fingers and I am going to press it into my pore areas. So are pretty much like around my cheeks and my nose is normally where the majority of my pores hang out. I don't know what it is. I'm drinking like peppermint creamer in my coffee to like open up my nasal passages. This is really cute. It says best mom ever. I got this from my mom. I'm using it though. But yes, also, if you do have oily skin, I have noticed that if you use a damp beauty blender to put on your foundation, you are more likely to get oily sooner because of the dampness in the actual beauty blender. And whenever you put that on your face, you are helping your face retain moisture in the skin. So if you do have super oily skin and it is a big problem for you and you haven't tried using a brush, maybe try using a brush. This is the Morphe MB31. I just showed you it in my Morphe Me subscription for this month. I actually have really been liking it. I'm not normally a brush person for makeup, but I really do enjoy that brush. It's just easiest so, to wipe it off and start applying to my face. So I am going to do all of this with the brush. Um, this color might be like one shade too dark. So with my powder today, I'm going to try to like compensate for that. Just because I got this probably like a month and a half ago and since then I like literally just ran this all through my hair piece of my hair um, since then I have lost a little bit of my tan I normally stay pretty medium complected until like December once December hits it's kind of all over for me and then I get pasty again so I have to like go on all my subscription things and change my skin tone from medium to light so I'm just taking this brush and I'm gonna stipple at first sorry I'm like looking back behind my mirror so I can actually see what I'm doing um also if anyone has any good camera recommendations for me I'm currently honestly just using my phone it has the best um like quality megapixel wise as any of the cameras that I do have so I have always just used my phone I feel like it focuses pretty well the picture is pretty well but now I'm to the point where I want just a camera but I don't want to go spend a thousand dollars on a camera just because I can't I literally cannot justify doing that and I would not want to justify anyone else doing that for me 
So yes, um, just a good camera with like good resolution for pictures. I want it good for pictures too. Possibly like something Wi-Fi, like it has Wi-Fi so I could like send pictures to my phone um, to like post because I know I'm, I always like try to take pictures of my makeup. So if I could like send it to my phone so I could post it, that would be really awesome. But also has like really good video quality and is not like an arm and a leg. Like $500 is my top out right this second just because I don't need anything any more expensive than that. But like right now my dream camera, like the one I really, really want that I've heard recommended by so many people is the Canon 70D. But... Um, she's a pretty penny. She's a, she's almost a thousand bucks, if not a thousand bucks. It kind of just depends where you get it. So, she's gonna have to wait. I'll, I'll wait on her. Good things come to those who wait. So I've been told. Okay, so this is the foundation. All blended out. Um, as you can tell, I mostly stippled just because I feel like with a brush doing circles, I just always leave brush marks and I hate that. But if you guys can see, I feel like it is pretty medium coverage um we can try to build it up a little bit but like I said I don't need full coverage I hate the feeling of full coverage on my face so medium coverage for me is good because I really don't have a lot to cover up but it blended out very nicely very creamy I do love the spatula on here it makes it so easy and normally I mix stuff on the back of my hand so I don't yes. have it feels tacky on my face it does I hate that feeling but it, it does feel tacky um I'm gonna do just a little bit more um, like the best place, since I don't have a lot of problems on my skin, the best place for me to tell if a foundation is like light, medium, or full coverage is trying to put it on like some of my, um, moles and like freckles and seeing if I can cover them up. So I have like two really dark ones over here. You guys can probably tell. So I'm just going to put some on there to see if I can kind of cover them up. And normally I don't like to cover my freckles up and stuff because I really do like them. Um, we'll just put some over all these. I really, I'm telling with age, I'm getting a lot more spots on my face. And I really honestly kind of like it. Just because I'm really jealous of people who have freckles. I always wanted them and never had them. My sister has them all over and she does not want them. Okay, I can definitely tell by doing this, it is buildable. Like, they're a lot, you can't see them. I mean, yeah, you can still see them because they're pretty dark. But they're not as prominent as they were. So yeah, I would definitely say um, medium, like a light medium to mm, medium, more medium coverage. I definitely would not say this is a full coverage foundation. I would say if you don't have anything you really want to cover up, dark spots or acne or anything, um, definitely try this out so far. I mean, I can't give you my 100% opinion just because I have wore this for about 10 minutes. But, I mean, I don't have anything negative to say so far. I feel like it is definitely soaking more into my skin instead of sitting on top of my skin, which I really like. I hate it when I can just, like, see a foundation sitting there. So, yes, so far, so good. And I will check in in probably three hours. So, right now, it's 9 o'clock. So, I will talk to you guys probably around noon or 1. So, yeah. We will see how it goes. Okay, guys, we are at the three hour portion of this try on and wear test. It's currently 1230 and I put this foundation on at nine. So we have been on for three and a half hours. Um, like I said, when I was applying the foundation, I did not use a oil controlling primer, no oil controlling setting spray. I did not use a highlighter today. I did not use any um, very sheen, like glowy like products. I used just a matte Milani blush, um, a matte bronzer. And yes, so far, I feel like it looks really, really good. Um, I was in my room and I have all this natural light in here and I can just tell by looking at it, it does look very good. I feel like almost it looks slightly blurred. I don't know if that's from my um, Maybelline, the Baby Pore or Soft, the, whatever primer I showed you guys that I used while I was doing it. But it looks really good. It has not settled into any of my fine lines around my nose, around my smile lines, or in my head, because I have like some really prominent like creases in my head right here when I like 
make expressions like they crease and sometimes makeup kind of cakes up in there but so far so good um like I told you guys in my um intro to this I did find the powder after I applied everything and like shut off the camera so I did use that as well so we'll be able to test out both of them together which is really awesome um this is super affordable and so far I'm really happy I can normally feel if I have oil building up on my face like I can just touch it and I can feel and so far I feel very matte um normally the places I get super oily are right around here my nose forehead and it chin. looks awesome so far so I will get close for you guys to see it, it looks very good I am so impressed for five dollars or less this looks really good um I did even do my eyes matte today I didn't even put any shimmer on those I'm like just feeling very matte today I guess but yes um so far we are at three and a half hours in and it looks like I just applied it 20 minutes ago it still looks very nice so I will check in with you guys probably around four or five o'clock and we will see how the foundation is performing almost seven hours of wear and I am oily just so you guys know so I noticed I've been looking at my face every hour just starting to see at the one o'clock mark was it one o'clock 12.30, 12.30, 1 o'clock mark, I looked, I looked matte still, I looked good, I looked at the footage and it did look like my nose was kind of shiny in the film, but I'm pretty positive that it's just the flash of my camera making it more um, evident than what it actually was, it's not that bad, so I think my flash does make it look a little worse than what it really is. Because I would still wear this out, I would still, I would still go for a few more hours at this rate with this. But I have noticed, I will get up close for you guys, I have noticed that right around my nose, as you guys probably can tell, I do have some creasing, and there's like a little spot in my, like right under my nose right here that's kind of like horseshoe shaped that it has sunk into. Um, other than that, right here kind of looks like it's wore off a little. I have been wiping my nose like right here, so under my nose has kind of wore off. Other than that, I do look dewy. I don't look like a complete grease ball, but I can promise you in about three hours, because I'm not going to touch up at all, I'm going to leave all this on, but by 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock, I will be looking dewy, very dewy. So, so far, I have liked it. I still do like it. I think the coverage is very pretty. I just do think that with oily skin, this is not a super long wearing foundation. I will say though, going through my footage from today, the video I filmed, this does look very good in pictures and in videos, so I'm very impressed with that. I think if you do have oily skin so far, if you're going to have it on for five, four or five hours, I think this is a good buy for you. It's five dollars or less, so you can't go wrong. Um, if you have dry skin, this might actually work out very good for you, or even um, normal, like, common, dry combination skin. Like, this would probably be really good for you. But someone that produces a lot of oil, I would say five, six hours is probably your max. After that, you're going to be looking really dewy. And, I mean, like I said, I would wear this still. I would wear this out. I would go out. I would do something with this on and not care. But I can promise you at the 6, 7 o'clock mark at my next check-in, I'm going to be looking, like, real oily. So, yes, mostly, like I said, around my nose is where I can tell, kind of right under my eyes. My concealer has kind of creased up and bunched up. Today I use the Kat Von D, what was it? Kat Von D concealer, um, her new one, the locket or the tattoo concealer, that one. Um, not my Tarte Shape Tape, because my Tarte Shape Tape would not crease as bad, I don't think. So, yeah, um, like I said, it's almost 4 o'clock. I will check in with you guys between 6 and 7 because I know by then I'm going to be feeling disgusting and like I want to get my makeup off because I already feel like that now. But I want to give this a true wear test. I want you guys to see the real deal on it. So I'm going to keep it on for a few more hours. And yeah, I will talk to you guys then. Okay guys, it is now 5.30 p.m. We have had this on for almost 9 hours eight nine hours now and I am having that feeling I need to get my makeup off so um, like I said 
about the five six hour mark if you do have very oily skin that is where I would say this starts getting oily um, if you have more combination to dry skin I would say this is a good foundation for you to try out especially for the price point of five dollars five six dollars but again if you do have oily skin if you want a nice foundation that is lightweight feeling has a good color range is a good price and you're not going to wear it for 10 hours and you're only going to wear it for about four or five hours i would say definitely check it out um i just think mostly for oily skin if you want something that you can wear for a nine to five job an eight to five job a 12 hour job this probably is not your best bet or if you do get this foundation you are going to need to touch up repowder blot whatever to make sure you are not looking oily like i said i can feel especially like right here by my nose and on my actual nose like I can feel me getting super oily and I hate that feeling so I am gonna go ahead and end this wear test here like I said the five six hour mark is where I started getting oily so yes um I do think it is a good foundation though like I said um, in my video I filmed and the pictures I took it looked very nice um, I definitely agreed the flashback there's no flashback I did not have any of that issue I have my camera facing my face right now with the, the um, flash on and you cannot tell on my face so yes um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my review and my application and my wear test on the wet n wild photo focus foundation and primer if there are any other foundations or powders or anything like that you want me to test out and do a wear test on let me know like I said I do have the it cosmetic CC cream I can do that if you guys would like to see that I have really been enjoying that lately so yes thank you guys for watching today if you have any requests or anything like that comment below make sure you subscribe and i hope you all have a really good day thank you for watching bye like i love the what the fuck am i saying i don't even know